I showed you guys that clip of that beautiful, beautiful grain that's on the farmland on the way to my house. And um, it reminds me of that song. Um, I forgot I forgot the name of the song, but it goes like, Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. Like those, gra uh, those rows and rows and rows of grain were so beautiful. And I think sometimes it's important in your busy life that you just take time and look at this beautiful world that God created. Sometimes we forget to look. Just stop and look because we're so busy and we're so on the go and we're so focused on making money. And, you know, that's pretty much the main priority of most Americans is getting out there and making money. That we forget to stop and count our blessings and look at this beautiful world that God has created. Because there's so many beautiful things that just didn't come out of nowhere. Of course, God created them. And um, when you stop and you take a moment to look at them, especially with your kids too, it just... It just reminds you of what's important and that one day we'll all be in this wonderful, beautiful place. Well, not us all, unfortunately, but one day um, those of us who are saved will be in this wonderful, beautiful place called heaven. And it will be much more beautiful than anything we've seen on this earth. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. <laughs> You fine, EJ. Stop. Stop yelling. Kick it, A. Come. So as you can see, EJ, yeah. you just sprinkle water all over my face. So as you can see, guys, we are hanging out at the pool, and I'm trying to convince my kids that it's, it's time to go. No. Yes. No. Yes, because it's hot out here, and I didn't come pool prepared because I didn't feel like swimming. So I got my hair all wrapped up to try to protect it from the heat, and I got my SPF on. Did you put on your sunscreen? Yeah. Okay. Go get Kim and tell her it's time to go. Uh, can we just stay for one more? For after, I mean, after this break, we'll go in the pool for a little bit, and then we're gonna go home. What is a little bit? Five seconds. Okay, five seconds. You know how long five seconds is? No. How much is five seconds, Kima? EJ, ask One, two, three, four, five. No, no, I mean five minutes. <laughs> that's not long either. Four minutes? No, that's <laughs> not long. Oh, go 25 out. hours is long. Aren't you hungry? No. Yeah. I'm hungry. These kids. Me too. You hungry? <laughs> it's a really nice day, actually. The weather is pretty pretty cool although the sun comes out and then it goes back behind the clouds but overall the weather is pretty pretty okay what time is it no one knows I don't know. is are we supposed to keep track three no I'm just asking because it should be pretty late because we, we didn't get here to like four o'clock so I'll say maybe it's like maybe like 6 30 uh-huh guys sit down no. You want to sit in my lap? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to swim? Mm -hmm. No, nope, she doesn't. <laughs> That's good. You're learning? And it's a lot of fun, right? She's not, guys. Yeah, you go. You're going to tell Daddy that you went swimming when he yeah. comes back? So my husband is out of town right now with my oldest daughter. Um, visiting family. So um, they're not with us, so we're just entertaining ourselves until until they come back wait baby we're still on break okay we're still on break they haven't blown the whistle for us to go back into the pool mommy yes baby time, please. no 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 they they need to blow the whistle sweetheart oh 
Ooh, and then you got all kinds of stuff up your nose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come see. Let's take a family picture. Let's take a family photo. I'm debating on whether or not I should go to Olive Garden because I have a gift card to Olive Garden and it would be really delicious. But I'm out of calories for today. Well, I'm not out of calories. I don't have enough calories for Olive Garden. EJ, don't put your hands on her face. Ooh, don't do that. That's really nasty. Ooh, don't do that. Calories. That means I was tracking my calories on my cell phone and I don't have very many left. So my son sees somebody who has the same swimming trunks as him. It's actually the swimming trunks that he has at home. So he's been debating whether or not he should go tell the boy that he has the same swimming trunks. <laughs> so he just whispered in my ear that he was going to go tell him. So I'm just curious as to what he thinks the boy is going to say. So he's over there right now. And then come get your vest. And then come get your vest. No, no, come get your vest first. You need your vest. And then. I was just sitting here thinking, guys, I do a lot of things alone, like just me and my children, because um, when I say alone, I mean, I don't have any girlfriends that I can call up and, and be like, hey, girl, we're going to the pool. You want to come or you want to bring your kids? I don't have any girlfriends like that. Outside, I have a few friends I consider good friends that I met through work, and mainly our relationship happens at work like we really don't meet outside of work and um a lot of the reason is because i live so far away from my job that a lot of people i work with are located more close to the job so they're very far away from me so just to call them up on a weekend and be like hey you want to do this or you want to go somewhere it's like a drive for them to get over to my side of town or for me to get over to their side of town but it kind of saddens me that I don't have any girlfriends with children or without children. It doesn't matter to me that I can call up and be like, hey, you want to go to the pool? Um, I do have some really good friends that live in other cities. Um, but in the city that I live in, I don't have anyone. So most of the time, if I'm hanging out on the weekend, if I'm not with my husband, then it's just me and the kids. And um, a time like this where I'm just sitting by the pool would be really nice to, you know, just catch up with a girlfriend and talk about life, you know, like I do at work on my lunch break, you know. It would be a really nice time to just watch our children play or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's what I was thinking right here as I sit alone. <laughs> as I sit alone. It feels good to be outside, though. Sometimes if, you know, I'm an inside person. I don't like to go outside very much. Um, but sometimes just to go outside and take a walk or just to be outside in the sun, it feels good. It's like, it's like energizing. I don't know how to describe it. But we're about to leave here, um, right now because we've been here a good three hours. And I'm, and I'm, um, ready to go. I'm actually going to log in to, to this evening and work. I got a lot of work that I need to catch up on my, for my job job. So um, I'm going to log in when I get home and I'm going to do some work for a few hours. And then tomorrow I'm going to uh, do my schoolwork. EJ, shh. EJ, you're too loud. EJ, she can't help you. And then tomorrow I have schoolwork. I actually have an article, an article review that I need to do for an article regarding regarding um, work breakdown structure. Any of you guys technology majors or um, any of you guys work in the IT field or project management field, that's what my degree in, this degree is in. It's in, um, it's a Master of Science in Information Technology with the concentration in project management. So I got to do an article review on work breakdown structure. 
which is um it's a it's an okay topic it's not nothing i'm really interested in so it probably won't take me that long because it's a real short article review but i'm going to be doing that tomorrow and um that's about it i cleaned my house really well today um I have an upstairs and a downstairs, and normally when I clean up, I just tackle the downstairs, and I let my kids handle the upstairs, but um, there's a living area in the upstairs. I showed you guys a long time ago that I need to actually clean up because I can't trust them to clean it like I want it to be clean. Not, not yet. They're still young. My nine-year-old, she's awesome. She's really, really awesome at cleaning. It's like a passion for her. This morning when she woke up, she's like, Mommy, what are we going to do today? And I was like, okay, we might go to the pool or whatever. We need to go to Walmart. And she was like, how about we clean the house? Like, it's an activity for her. It's like something fun to do. It's not like work to her. She loves it. She loves to organize things. One of her favorite things is to get in my room and organize my stuff. And even all of her teachers since kindergarten has said, have always told me that she's the best helper. That she's the best helper. That she's like... She keeps them organized and everything. I really love that quality about her because one day when she has to run her own household and she has children and she's a wife, that's going to be an awesome quality to have because it's not innate for me. I like to be organized. I feel better when I'm organized. I feel um, a little bit out of whack when I see things out of place. And I also, and I always have this, this feeling that either it's 100% or it's nothing. So if I can't organize and clean something to 100%, I don't want to do it at all because that middle area kind of makes me feel some kind of way I can't explain it it's just like it's just like if I can't do something or 100% I don't want to do it at all if I'm only going to be able to do it 40 or 50 percent but just being organized all together that's not something that's innate to me I like it but it's not like second nature or automatic for me but for her it is and it's just a really good quality to have and she loves to clean and she loves to organize and and I really love that about her. Do this. You can't do what, baby? This. Oh, you want to take it off? No, no, no. You can't take off your swimsuit. You can't take off your swimsuit.